Chances are if you've ever dealt with pain in the mid back, neck, low back, or in the shoulder, somebody has told you that improving mid back mobility will help with those conditions. In this video we'll go over why that might actually be the case and also some common exercises that we can do to improve mid back mobility. And first we should start off with discussing what is the mid back. And so if we look at the spine, the first seven vertebrae here are what's called your cervical vertebra and that makes up your neck. The next 12 vertebrae here are called your thoracic spine, and that's what we refer to as the mid-back. And then the last five vertebrae are your lumbar vertebra, and those make up your low back. And so if we look at the normal curves of the spine, we have a lordotic curve in the neck here, which is normal, a kyphotic curve in the mid-back, which is also normal, and then a lordotic curve in the lumbar spine, which, again, is a normal curve. And so generally when we're discussing the mid-back and trying to improve mobility here, we're either talking about extension, which is decreasing the kyphotic curve, or we're talking about improving rotation in the mid-back. And there's several biomechanical reasons why improving mid-back mobility could help with some of these conditions. So if we look at postural related pain syndrome, so either neck pain or mid-back pain, if we're sitting in an increased kyphotic position, so if we're sitting at a computer for long periods of time like this, it can be helpful to actually improve that extension and that'll help decrease some of the tension on the joints and also the muscles of the neck and also of the low back as well. And then if we look at the relationship between the biomechanics of the mid-back to the shoulder, if we're in that increased kyphotic position and then look at our range of motion of our shoulders, we kind of end up hitting a barrier when we try to lift our arms up overhead. Whereas if we're in a little bit more of an extended position in the mid-back, we can get that full range of motion without that barrier. And so that can help decrease some of the strain that's occurring in the other joints, compensating for lack of movement in another area. And so the first exercise we'll do is a foam rolling exercise for mid-back extension. And so what we'll do is we'll need a foam roller and then we're gonna lay on our back. And so generally the areas that we're going to go between are the base of the rib cage. So we can feel on the side here for the base of the rib cage. That's gonna be the lowest spot that you wanna to roll to. And then we're gonna to go to the base of the neck. And so there's a couple of things that you can do with your hands. You can either cross them over your chest. That'll help move the shoulder blades out of the way. Or when you're doing this and you feel like your deep neck flexors are getting tired, you can interlace your hands and then just place them behind your head to give yourself a little bit of support. Either way works. And so we'll cross our arms over our chest, bridge up, and then we're going to roll between those two points. So we're going to go to just below the base of the neck and then down to the bottom of the rib cage, And then we'll just go slowly in between those two spots. Normally it's okay to hear pops in the back, that's just gas being released from the joints. And so we want to be able to talk normally while we're doing this and we're not holding our breath. So that way we can improve the mobility and we're not tensing up as we do this. The second exercise is a rib grab with rotation. And so what we're going to do is we're going to lay on our side and we'll still use a foam roller and we're going to place our knee on the foam roller. And so the key for this exercise is that this doesn't actually move. That'll help lock out the low back, so all the rotation comes from the mid-back and not from the low back. And so the first thing that we'll do from this position is we're going to grab uh, our bottom ribs with our top hand. And so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this shoulder down towards the ground. And so what it's going to look like is we're going to rotate here, not moving this leg, and then bringing the shoulder down towards the ground, and then we're going to take three breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. So what it's going to look like is and just relax, dropping that shoulder down towards the ground. Key for this exercise as well is that we want to look towards the direction that we want to rotate. So again, in through the nose, out through the mouth, relax, one more time, and then back up. And so obviously we would repeat this on the other side as well. We can also modify this exercise so we get a little bit of shoulder as well by turning it into a windmill exercise. Everything remains the same. The only difference is that we're going to bring our arm palm to palm. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to slide it up overhead, down. And then once we get to here, we're going to flip. So we're going to go palm down again. And then reverse the motion there. And then back around. And so again, this leg stays still. We want to take a nice deep breath in and out. 
Trying to keep this hand down towards the ground as much as we can. And then bringing it back around. One last time here. The next exercise are called floor angels, and we'll also do wall angels as well. And so what we'll do is we'll be laying on our back. And so for this one, we want to have our low back pushed down against the ground. That'll again make sure that we're not extending through that low back and that all the mobility is going to come from the shoulders and also the mid back. And so we're going to push so that there's no space underneath that low back. We're going to have palms up. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to slide our arms up overhead. Breathing out as we get towards the top, trying to keep our arms and our elbows down towards the ground as much as we can. And then slowly back. We can also repeat the floor angels on the wall, and this is actually a progression of the floor angel because it requires a little bit more control of the low back while we do this up against the wall because we don't have gravity working with us. But the same principles apply. So we're going to make sure that we're going to push that low back flat against the wall, palms are going to be facing out, and then we're going to just slowly slide our arms up overhead, trying to keep our arm and our elbow on the wall. Again, as we slide up, we want to make sure that that low back stays against the wall and that we're not extending through that low back, which will compensate for that mid back. So push that low back flat against the wall, palms out, and then just slide up the wall, breathe out as you go up, and then slowly back down. The final mid back mobility exercise is a quadruped rotation exercise. And so what we're going to do is we're going to sit into child's pose and that will help lock out the low back so all the mobility again will come from the mid back. And so what we're going to do from here is that we're going to put our hand on our back and then we're going to rotate up towards the ceiling again leading with the head so we're going to look up towards the ceiling, rotate our shoulder up towards the ceiling and then back down. Again, we can switch, so we do the other side, hand on the low back, rotate the head, and then also the mid back. Make sure when you're doing this that you're breathing and that you're not holding your breath. That way we're not tensing up all the muscles as we try to mobilize. We can also increase this to get a little bit more range of motion by being in a quadruped position. And so what we're going to do is we're going to reach as far as we can through and then up towards the ceiling and then reach through again. And we can repeat on the other side. So here, reach through and then up. Thank you guys for watching this video on how to improve your mid-back mobility. I hope that you found this information useful. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified of future videos, hit the bell icon as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.